All right, guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we learned about the FS Core module for file I/O, and in this video, we are going to be making use of that module to learn about streams. Now, streams are nothing but Unix Unix pipes that allow us to read data from a source and then pipe that data to a destination very easily. Now, we have two types of streams actually three but we are going to be learning only about two types of streams the first one is a readable stream that lets you read data from a source and then the second one is a writable stream that lets you write data to a destination okay now to make use of streams we first need to import the fs module so variable fs is equal to require fs and then we are going to create a readable stream. So variable readable stream is equal to fs dot create read stream. We also need to specify from where we are reading. So it is going to be input dot txt. Now we also are going to get some data after reading it. So first let us initialize the data and then we are going to set the format so readable stream dot set encoding and let's have it UDF8 now streams are also event emitters so we can listen to an event when they emit and then perform some action so readable streams emit data and an end event so so readable stream dot on so streams are going to read the data from a file bit by bit and not the entire file at a time so readable stream on data and we are going to call a function when this data event is emitted and this is going to take a parameter chunk and we are going to keep adding this chunk to our data to finally have the entire uh, content of our input.txt. So data plus is equal to chunk and then we can have another event. So readable stream dot on. This is the end of reading the file. So we can have another function that just says console dot log and the data that has been read okay and when we go ahead and save it and open in our command prompt node app.js says this is the input file contains nothing useful just read this stuff so this is a content from our input.txt so what readable streams do is read data from a file and then based on the events they emit we can call back certain functions and similarly we have a writable stream so let's say variable write data write data is equal to hello world so this is the data we are going to be writing out to a file and then variable writable stream is equal to fs dot create write stream now we also need to specify the file where we are going to write our data so output dot txt okay then we need to specify that we are going to be writing data in the utf8 format so writable stream dot write we're going to write data and then UTF-8 format semicolon and finally we are going to listen to an event okay before that we just are going to say end this is going to be the end and then when we're going to be listening to an event called finish so when writing data to the output file is finished then let's just say function 
console.log write completed so save it and if we go back to your command prompt node app.js so it says write completed and then this is the input file contains nothing useful just read this stuff and if you go back to our folder we have an output.txt file created and if we open it we have hello world now once again we see that the callbacks come into action now, even though we are reading data from the file and trying to log that into our console this is an event so an asynchronous function is going to happen and we are going to be uh, if we have a look at the command prompt we see that write completed which is write completed is the first thing that is printed so while we are reading data from the input file we don't want the execution to be blocked so we make use of events to let the server know that print onto the console the data only when it is available and we are going to be writing the data first and then reading it reading the input file anyway so i hope that was not confusing but it's always preferable to use streams to read data and then write because reading data in streams happens in chunks and not the entire file at once so imagine if you have a few megabytes for a file and that takes a lot of time so instead we are going to uh, receive it part by part and then add it all together and then you know you can write that write that write the data onto the console so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video